I will be discussing linear speed in this lesson. So when you consider a particle that is moving at a constant speed along the circular path, like the path shown in this picture, at time let's say t equals to zero, the particle is here, and after some time later, the particle moves to this location, making this angle theta. So we already know that the distance that the angle is going to make is this arc length, okay, which is r theta. So the linear speed of the particle is the measure of how fast it is moving along that circular path. So we know that the speed is equal to distance over time. So, but in this case, our distance is arc length. So we have already met arc length. So that's why the, the linear speed is going to be this pi r divided by the time t that it takes for the particle to move from one position to the other along this circular path. And as defined earlier, so pi will be the angle in radians and the r will be the radius and the v in this case now will be the linear speed. Example number one, so we want to find the linear speed in feet per second of this circular blade that is rotating 2,400 revolution per minute. So, and we are given the diameter of the blade. So, let's see what we are given. So, we are given the diameter D to be 7.5 inches. If you divide diameter into two, that will give us the radius. So, the radius in this case is going to be 7.5 inches divided by 2. So, but before we use this particular radius, we might want to convert the inches to feet. So, 12 inches equals to 1 feet. 1 inch equals to 1 over 12 feet. So, let's convert the radius to, to feet. So, the radius is going to be 7.5 inches divided by 2 multiplied by 1 over 12 feet per inch, okay? So inches cancels inches, and then we have the radius now in feet. So instead of you, uh, like, simplifying right now, you can simplify everything later, okay, so that you don't waste your time. So now let's come to the revolution. We are told that the blade makes 2,400 revolution per minute, okay? We are given theta per time all in one. So it's 2,400 revolutions. And we know that one revolution equals to 360 degree or 2 pi, okay, 2 pi radian. To be able to convert revolution to radians, we are going to multiply it by 2 pi, okay, radian per revolution divided by, because we also have minutes, so we are told to give this in seconds. So we have, we have to convert that minute to Second, so one minute is going to be 60 seconds, okay? 60 seconds per minute. Using the formula, we now know that the linear speed of this uh, blade is going to be r theta over t. So r is 7.5, okay, divided by 2, multiplied by 1 over 12 to convert inches to feet. Then multiply by theta over t, which is going to be 2400, okay, divided by 60. I'm just going to write everything all together now, okay, multiply by 2 pi. So if you put that into your calculator or you use to simplify, you are going to find that, that everything comes down to 25 pi, okay, feet per second. And if you multiply 25 by pi, you're going to get 78.54 feet per second. So that means the, the linear speed in this case is 78.54 feet per second. So don't let the, the conversion throw you off. You can either convert one by one as you go. But I prefer to just write everything together because you can also see there are two cancels too, okay? Uh, 60 goes in 240, that will be 4, okay? So that will be 40. And you can see that 12, uh, 4 can go in 12 three times and 4 can go in 
fold it 10 times. So 3 can go in 7.5, 2.5 times. So 2.5 multiplied by 10 gives you 20. And don't forget the pi, please. It might be easier for you to, to just do it like that. For example, number 2, we are given that a satellite in a circular orbit 1,250 kilometers above Earth makes one complete revolution every 110 minutes, okay? So this is kind of special in the case because we have the Earth, okay? And now we have this satellite, okay, revolving around the Earth's atmosphere. So we are told that the Earth has a radius, let's call it R, which is 6,400 kilometers in this case. And the satellite also, okay, makes this small r, which is 1,250 kilometers. So the total r in this case for our orbiting satellite will be the bigger r plus small r. So let's just call it, so the radius in this case will be 6,400 plus 1,250, and both of them are in kilometers, so that's good for us. Okay, so this is going to give us 7,650 kilometers. So that will be the R that we are going to use in our calculation, okay? We are now told that the satellite makes a complete revolution every 110 minutes. So it makes one complete revolution, so that means 2 pi divided by 110 minutes, okay? Okay, so now the uh, linear speed is going to be r theta over t. So that's going to become, so r in this case will be 7,650 kilometers, okay, multiplied by 2 pi over 110 minutes. So V, if you put that into your calculator, is going to be 436.97 kilometer per minute. So since we are not asked to convert in this case, that is going to be our linear speed. So that is it for linear speed. Thank you so much. And please remember to subscribe.